Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. NVIDIA Canary is a powerful multilingual multimodal speech processing model capable of performing automatic speech recognition and translation tasks for languages like English, German, French and Spanish. We already have covered this model in great detail where we installed it locally and then we also did another video where we fine-tuned this canary model on a custom data set and i will drop the link to both of those videos in videos description and in my first pinned comments now while the canary model is optimized by default for short duration audio segments typically under 40 seconds the long form inference task allows transcription of significantly longer audio recordings by automatically dividing them into smaller chunks suitable for the model in this video we are going to leverage nvidia canary's 1 billion flash model along with nvidia nemo's built-in chunked inter inference scripts to locally process and accurately transcribe long audio files on your system efficiently if you don't know what nvidia nemo is it is a framework from nvidia that is scalable and cloud native in order to give you a tool and a framework to efficiently create customize and deploy new gen ai applications and models by using pre-trained checkpoints and I also have covered it in great detail on the channel. If you're interested, just search with Nemo. Now, let's get started with this long form task and we will see how it works. For that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on a very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon of 50% for range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. First step, create a virtual environment with Konda. If you don't know how to do that, just check my channel. It's not mandatory, but I always like to do it. Once you have it, you can see that I already have an environment called as Canary, but it's fairly straightforward in order to create that. Once you um, are done, next step is to install some of the audio libraries with this one so you see that i am just installing this ffm pack and stuff they're already there and next up we need to install all the prerequisites which primarily include torch torch audio and this sort of stuff i already have it so i'm not going to reinstall them and then we need to launch our jupyter notebook and i'm just going to launch it in my browser so let's wait for it to get launched and next up let's download the model which is canary 1 billion flash and the model is downloaded and now running it on my local system as you can see here this is all the information about the model okay and then i'm just going to download the script from nvidia's nemo's github repo as you can see that i'm just simply using the wget and i'm getting it from the main branch of the repo and now let me give it a long form audio so I have just grabbed this long form audio, which is an, an inaugural speech, I guess, uh, from one of the US president. And I believe it is the first inaugural speech by Franklin D. Roosevelt. So let me run it a bit. Okay, it says it couldn't do it, but let me play it. Now, so I'm just trying to create a, a compatible file in six kilohertz. So let me file, uh, find another file because this audio file has to be a good format, which means that it should run. So instead of displaying the file here, I have just checked its duration. So it is 18 minute 44 second, but let me play it a little bit in just to show you. Mr. Chief Justice, my friends, this is a day of national consecration, and I am certain that on this day my... So you see, uh, this is a Franklin D. Roosevelt, so now, and it is 18 minutes long. So let's do the conversion to long form, so 
because as i said earlier the original model only does 40 second but it's an 18 minute long one so nvidia has very graciously provided the script which i have changed a little bit and then we are doing the inference here so let me run it and as you can see that it has started running it is going to take a bit of a time it is producing the data it is going through that file uh, audio file it is getting the you know different chunks and stuff and it will go on and on and on and i will just wait for it to finish as you can see a lot of data is being produced meanwhile if we quickly check the vram consumption as it runs it is around 3.7 gig of vram which you can use with this much audio so you see it is not much really you can even run it on a good cpu with good ram like 16 gb 32 gb or you could just go with any commodity gpu and there you go it has produced a long form transcript of the speech which i just played uh, earlier from roosevelt and looks pretty good to me and you can just run any sort of audio file with it and it is going to give you the whole transcript as i mentioned earlier if you are looking to install it locally or fine tune it on your own data set you can simply uh, search my channel and you should be able to find a uh, couple of videos around it i will also drop the link to them in the first pin comment so please do check it out now before i let you go i just wanted to uh, say a few words on uh, the architecture of this model so if you look at this screen the input audio is being converted into 128 dimensional log mel features extracted for 25 millisecond window with a stride of 10 millisecond and that is how we were able to do the long form with, with it also the spectrogram features are then processed through the encoder and then the decoder conditions on the encoder output and decoder prompt to auto regressively generate one token at a time so pretty nifty i would say and then if you check it out here the decoder prompt is a key to attain multitask capability with canary models decoder prompt is a sequence of special tokens that define the precise task and that task could be language output text punctuation time step and we have seen it in our previous videos and that is to be performed on the input audio now the if you look at this diagram where the decoder is taking a sequence of prompt tokens as input before generating output text the example prompt sequence corresponds to english speech recognition as a language for input and output text is set to english and the format of the decoder prompt is defined by a specific template which they also have shared in their repo and i will drop the link to it in video's description if you're looking for this code um, i would request you to just go to my main channel just buy me a coffee send me a screenshot through email and i'll be happy to share the code with you if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching